Hello everyone. In the last video, we have discussed about the structure of chlorophyll and mechanism of photosynthesis. In today's class, we will discuss about the passage of food material through alimentary canal or the process of digestion, which is in unit one, nutrition lesson, and it is also a necessary topic. If you like this video, students subscribe this channel, press the bell icon to get the latest update. So let us start the topic. first of all let us see what is digestion breakdown of large complex substances into simple substances breakdown of complex substances of food into simple substances by enzymes by enzymes breakdown of complex substances into simple substances by the action of enzymes which are these simple substances are later absorbed by the body these simple substances are absorbed by the body this is called as digestion process breakdown of complex substances into simple substances by enzymes and simple substances are later absorbed by the body this is called as the process of digestion so we well, let us see the passage of food through alimentary canal from where the food passes uh, we know that uh, food is first let us see the function of teeth food is cut and crushed with the help of teeth food is cut and crushed by with the help of teeth by teeth uh, let us write food is cut and crushed with the help of teeth and mixed with the saliva the food is mixed with the saliva which becomes to make wet and slippery in nature wet and slippery in nature this process is called as mastification mastification which is very important for one mark so food when it is mixed with saliva it becomes wet and slippery in nature this is called this process is called as mastification mastification this is f mastification so now let us study about tongue so let us study about tongue food is mixed and pushed to the next level so we can say mixing and pushing of food to next level pushing of food to next level will takes place with the help of tongue now three pairs of salivary glands we have three pairs of salivary glands where where they are located is one of the pair it is located at the jaw at the side of jaw next the other one is located below the tongue next next other one is located at the palate region means roof of oral cavity it is called as palate region so in we said that food is mixed with saliva means here this saliva contain enzyme amylase saliva contain enzyme amylase enzyme which will break down this amylase enzyme what it does it will break down starch into maltose it will break down starch into maltose we can say that carbohydrate digestion takes place in mouth carbohydrate digestion or will takes place in mouth takes place in mouth by salivary amylase enzyme so now let us study about uh, the esophagus the soft food which is slippery in nature soft food which is slippery in nature will enter the esophagus esophagus has a tube like structure the soft food will enter into the esophagus through peristaltic movement means wave like movement wave like movements are called as peristaltic movements through peristaltic movements food will enter from mouth into the esophagus so this uh, sorry guys so food from mouth will enter the esophagus and by peristaltic movement by wave like movement food will enter into stomach from esophagus food will enter from uh, esophagus into the stomach through esophagus food will enter into the stomach 
hope it's clear to everybody that soft food which is slippery in nature will enter the esophagus uh, through esophagus the food enter into stomach how it enters is by wave like movements called as peristaltic movements so now let us write here stomach what happens in stomach let us see we know that gastric glands gastric gastric glands secrete secrete hcl and gastric juice hcl and gastric juice so because of this hcl and gastric juice the condition of uh, uh, in stomach will be acidic ph ph will be acidic so we said that gastric glands will secrete hcl and gastric juice the food get churned means break down food gets churned further by this hcl and gastric juice food gets churned further by hcl and gastric juice so pepsin enzyme which is secreted by gastric glands so it is secreted by gastric glands secrete pepsin this pepsin enzyme what it does is pepsin enzyme what it does is it will convert it will break down proteins into peptones means we can say that breakdown of protein breakdown of proteins takes place in stomach takes place in stomach breakdown of proteins takes place in stomach here we have seen that breakdown of carbohydrate by the action of amylase takes place in mouth so we have completed about the stomach now let us see the next one so how the food enters from stomach to small intestine we have to see how the food enters from stomach so let us write the next heading small intestine how the food enters from stomach to small intestine the sphincters are responsible the sphincter muscles are there ring like muscles called as sphincters these are responsible for the passage of food from stomach to small intestine sphincters are responsible for passage of food from stomach to small intestine sphincters what are they means they are ring like muscle so when the sphincter muscle relax when sphincter muscles relax then small amount of food will enter into small amount of food pass from stomach to small intestine small amount of food pass from stomach to small intestine and then it will contract after that after that the sphincter muscles again it will contract so only small amount of food will pass from stomach to small intestine with by the help of sphincter muscles for more absorption why only small amount of food is passed from stomach to small intestine is for more absorption if small amount of food is passed to small intestine the digestion and absorption of food material will be properly done fully done we can say so what is the process of digestion in small intestine we will discuss now just now we have just discussed that how food enters from stomach to small intestine that is by sphincter muscles which are ring like muscles when they relax small amount of food pass from stomach to intestine again they will contract again they will relax pushing the small amount of food from stomach to intestine again they will contract this contraction and relaxation of sphincter muscles will be carried out and it is regulated by nerves so now let us study about small intestine how the process of digestion will takes place in small intestine so firstly let us discuss about liver what liver will secrete we know that bile juice liver will secrete bile juice what this will do it will break down large fat into small fat globules it will break down large fat into small fat globules this process is called as emulsification so next we have pancreas next we have pancreas let us study about pancreas we have already discussed about this so trypsin and lipase and also amylase is also secreted so what uh, trypsin will do 
it will convert protein to peptones lipase what it will do it will convert lipid to fatty acid and glycerol fatty acid and glycerol what amylase will do it will convert starch to maltose yes yes next we have intestinal gland intestinal gland what it will secrete intestinal it will secrete intestinal juice which contain two enzyme that is peptidases and sucrase sucrase what it does it will convert sucrose into glucose peptidase is what it does it will act on peptides and convert peptides into amino acids so this is the process of digestion in small intestine so we said that in small intestine fat digestion takes place carbohydrate digestion takes place lipid digestion takes place protein digestion takes place we can say that small intestine is largest part of alimentary canal largest part of for bit point it is very important which is the largest part of alimentary canal means small intestine is largest part of alimentary canal where digestion of carbohydrate proteins and fats takes place digestion of carbohydrates proteins and fats takes place digestion of carbohydrate proteins and fats takes place so in the small intestine there are finger like projections called as villi there are villi is found in small intestine it has finger like projection called as villi so because what is the use of villi very important what is the function of villi is function of villi is increases surface area of absorption increases surface area of absorption absorption increase as it has finger like projection the food can be stored for more time and there is more cap capacity to for absorption of the food material and more capacity for absorption we can say so what is the use of villi is increase surface area of absorption and it has finger like projection where it is found in the small intestine so when the small in the small intestine after the digestion of carbohydrate proteins and fats take in place the products of digestion we call products of digestion are passed first from small intestine that is products of digestion which is formed in small intestine are passed first into the villi and then into the blood vessels and then into the blood vessels and then into the lymph vessels and then into the lymph vessel product of digestion are passed first into the blood vessel villi then into the blood vessels and then into the lymphatic vessels or lymph vessels then the rest uh, the uh, the rest is passed means the rest food material rest food material is passed into the large intestine into large intestine the rest food material is passed into the large intestine which uh, where water is absorbed means in large intestine water is absorbed and the rest is passed out through anus eliminated out or passed out through anus rest is passed out through anus is it is an external opening for the waste or undigested food material you can say so what what we have learned about large intestine is here we can write heading large intestine okay now so the rest food material is passed and digested food material is passed into the large intestine where water is absorbed and the rest material is passed out through anus so what we have learned here is about small intestine about small intestine we said that sphincter muscles are there ring like muscles which will regulate the movement of food from stomach to small intestine when the sphincter muscles relax small amount of food enter from stomach to intestine and it will again contract like this only small amount of food is passed from small stomach to small intestine for proper absorption and digestion you can say 
Next, we have learned what are the various enzymes which will act on the food in small intestine. That is liver bile juice. This is not an enzyme bile juice. I repeat again. Pancreas. These are the various enzymes secreted by pancreas into the small intestine which will further digest the food material by this action of this enzyme. Further digestion of carbohydrate, protein and fat takes place uh, in a uh, small intestine so we have to remember that digestion of carbohydrate protein fats takes place in small intestine whereas carbohydrate digestion takes place in mouth whereas protein digestion only takes place inside the stomach whereas in small intestine digestion of all carbohydrate protein and fats takes place that is the difference which is the largest part of small inter alimentary canal means small intestine what is the use of villi vermin mark very very important it is increases the surface area of absorption so what is product uh, after the digestion process products of digestion will be uh, formed which will be first entered into the villi and then passes into the blood vessels and then into the lymphatic vessels whereas the rest material undigested food material will enter the large intestine where water is absorbed and the undigested food material again eliminated out passed out from the body through anus so here we have some of the important definitions so we will see what are the definitions from this topic for one mark which is very very important what is chyme what is chyme food where some part of carbohydrate and proteins are the breakdown food where only carbohydrates and protein protein breakdown food where only carbohydrate and proteins have been break down or partially digested food also we can write for chyme definition for chyme so we have already discussed what is the definition of digestion next we will write about absorption what is absorption is transport of transport of product of digestion products of digestion from intestine into the blood from intestine into blood this is different one so uh, next let us see the last definition of this topic defecation the passage of the passage of undigested food material passage of undigested food material food material from body through anus from body through anus it is called as defecation this is all the definitions are very very important for one mark hope guys this video will help you on passage of food material through alimentary canal the process of digestion thank you